Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the June 2024 paper of, this is the R paper of the Pure Mathematics P1 from, this is from the LXL International A level. And here we're asked to find dy dx for this expression y equals x cubed or this equation y equals x cubed plus 96 times root x plus 5 where we know that x is greater than 0. Find dy dx giving each term in its simplest form. So before we start differentiating we're going to prepare each term so that it is um, suitable to be differentiated expressed in a way that's suitable for differentiation. x cubed is fine. Now anything in third form should be written in index form. And we know that the square root of something is equal to that thing to the power of a half. So this is going to be 96 plus 96 x to the power of a half. And then you're going to have plus 5. So we want to find dy dx. So we're going to differentiate this. And these are the type of expressions you differentiate by simply multiplying the coefficient by the power and taking one from the power. So 3 times x to the power of 2 and a half times 96, which is 48, x to the power of negative a half, half times 96 is 48, and a half minus one is minus a half, and any constant term is just dropped, becomes zero. So this is dy dx, three marks for that, pretty simple. Um, then part b says, find the solutions of the equation d squared y dx squared equals zero. So basically you find d squared y dx squared by taking the gradient function dy dx and differentiating that with respect to x. That's what gives you d squared y dx squared. So we've got to take this and differentiate this. So we end up with, um, let's start, let's write down what dy dx is first. dy dx is equal to 3x squared plus 48x to the power of negative a half. So d squared y dx squared, the second differential, multiply by the power gives you 6x, take one from the power, and here you've got to multiply by the power, you get negative, half of 48 is 24, x to the power, take one from a half, and from negative a half, you get negative 3 over 2, okay, that's d squared y dx squared, and we have to solve the equation, d, d squared y dx squared equals 0, so we're going to solve the equation, 6x minus 24, I'll write it over, x to the power of 3 over 2 to make it easy for me to solve now, equals zero. So now I want to solve this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the fraction. Now as this is an equation, what you can do is you can multiply both sides by the same thing. So I'll multiply this by x to the power of 3 over 2. I'll multiply this side also by x to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, so this side of course will stay zero. Zero times anything is zero. Um, x to the power of 3 over 2 times 6x is going to give you well, when you multiply 6x by x to the power of 3 over 2, we have to use the law of indices that when you multiply two numbers in index form with the same base, you add the power. So a to the power of m plus n. So you're going to have 1 plus 3 over 2. 1 plus 3 over 2, which is 2 over 2 plus 3 over 2, which is 5 over 2. So this will be 6x to the power of 5 over 2. And when you multiply x to the power of 3 over 2 by uh, negative 24 over 3 of x to the power of 3 over 2, they cancel out, so you're left with negative 24, and this is 0. So now we have to solve this equation. I can divide both sides by 6, so I have x to the power of 5 minus 4 equals 0. So I can say x to the power of 5 over 2, sorry, is equal to 4. Now I want to find what x is. I, it's raised to the power of 5 over 2. I want it to be raised to the power of 1. So we know from our laws of indices also, when you have something raised to a power to another power, you have to multiply the powers. So if I raise this side of the equation to the power of two-fifths, that will get rid of the power and make it x to the power of 1, which is what I want to do. So that's going to be x to the power of 1. But if I raise one side to the power of two-fifths, I must raise the other side also to the power of two-fifths. Okay, so this comes x, x to the power of two-fifths. Sorry, not x, 4. 4 to the power of 2 fifths. Okay, 4 to the power of 2 fifths. Now, the question says, writing the answer in the form 2 to the power of k, where k is a constant. So, how can I express 4 in terms of 2? Well, 4 is the same as 2 squared. 
So I can write this as 2 squared to the power of 2 fifths. And as we know, we can multiply those powers. So you have 2 times 2 over 5. So you end up with 2 to the power of 4 over 5. Okay, so that's the answer. X is equal to 2 to the power of 4 fifths. And there we have the answer to this question. Now this question is about differentiation, second differentials, and something about index kind of, uh, you know, exponential equation kind of things. So um, that concludes this question. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of differentiation you'll find in the playlist down here. This is P1 differentiation. Questions dealing with exponential equations and indices you'll find in the playlist down here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.